What's this, you ask? Have we been taken back in time to the limelight before it closed? Are we listening to house music all of a sudden? It's just me, once again, preparing for a role. Somebody on the creative team of the new musical wanted to see me. But the naked voice was never meant to sing dance music, especially not mine. Let's throw on a filter. It's once again the time of year where they cast for the Knit Festival and the Fringe shows, all the new musicals vying for a shot at eventually the Great White Way, though very few of them ever make it there. And while this brand of pop music could not be further from my comfort zone, not only did I get a call back to dance, I then was called back again to read. When it comes to love When it comes to love When it comes to love I am no stranger to new musicals. Last summer I had one of the best experiences of my life working in the Fringe Festival. The question is, do I need to do it again? When it comes to gay. Then the weekend before the final callbacks, I received two different email conversations via Facebook of all places. One about a random production of Cats in Colorado, one about going on Princess Cruise Lines. Now, as you know, I've done cruise lines before. Princess, though, is top of the board. You're treated like a guest, it's the highest paying. But once again, do I need to do it again? Neither the Fringe show nor Cats are gonna make me rich in their bullshit sure contracts. And with cruise ship, I make a pocket of money. So I'm supposed to hear about all three jobs on Monday. And Monday comes, and I don't hear about any of them. If I filmed this vlog yesterday, you would have seen this, except with a lot more tears and a lot more wine, as I told my husband that I was a failure and probably never going to work again, and why is everything so hard, and why, at 31 years old, am I not further along and closer to my dreams? But it's a new day. If I do the Fringe show, my agent can see it. I get to be here for Pride and my friend's wedding. Not to mention, I don't have to miss my husband. But if I do the show in Colorado, I finally get to put a dance show on my resume, as well as a show that is frequently produced all around the country. I even got called in for a new web series. And buoyed by my newfound castability, I nailed it. I tried to whistle out the decision and ask my agent what I should do. And she, of course, said, go with your gut. Well, my gut says go with your talent. And, we all and my say. talent is this. Oh, well, there never was there ever a cat so clever as magical Mr. Mistopheles. He is quiet and small, he is black, from the ears to the tip of his tail. He can creep through the tiniest crack, he can walk on the narrowest rail, he can pick any card from a pack. He is equally cunning with dice. He is always deceiving you into believing that he's only hunting for mice. He can play any trick with a cork or a spoon and a bit of fish paste. If you look for a knife or a fork and you think it was merely misplaced, you have seen it one moment and then it is gone, but you find it next week laying out on the lawn. And we all say what you will about him, whether you like him or hate him. But I was born to sing Andrew Lloyd Webber. So clever is magical, Mr. Mistopheles. Oh, well, I never was there ever. A cat so clever is magical, Mr. Mistopheles. Oh, well, I never was there ever. A cat so clever is magical, Mr. Mistopheles. Oh, well, I never was ever a cat so clever.